Hello, New York City. I'm Christopher Ong. Welcome to Beautiful Living. Today, we're going to bring you to explore the world-renowned international fine art and antique dealer show. Let's go and check it out, see what they have. Come with me. We're at Douglas Dozen's gallery, who is specialized in the tribal art. So we would like him to tell us a little bit about his gallery and what drives you to get into this tribal arts and your passions. Tell us about that. Uh, a question I'm often asked. I think it's just a lifelong interest in non-Western art. Uh, I'm kind of a product of the 1960s when there was a lot of interest among young Americans in traveling abroad and just uh, studying non-Western art. So it's really been a lifelong interest of mine. Uh, and it, it, it seemed uh, sort of a compliment of those days when people were in the Peace Corps all over the world, people were traveling, people were studying abroad, and finding things that hadn't really been exposed in the art market previously. Uh, these are from the island of Sulawesi, which is in Indonesia. Oh. It's the island kind of between Borneo and the Philippines. Uh, and it's interesting because they represent a, a profound social change in Indonesia, a conversion from animistic religious beliefs to Islam. So these are nominally Islamic. These people converted to Islam in the 17th century. And so their art forms here reflect prohibitions in Islam against showing representative images of crocodiles or humans. And you said we have all this beautiful kind of intricate floral tech uh, patterns. But a lot of them are still vestigial of much more ancient traditions. So apart from uh, Africa continent, you also have something from in Polynesian, Indonesia, that region. The exactly. South, we South deal Asia. a lot in, in, not in classical Asian art, but in really archaic Asian art, the very oldest traditions of Asian art, from the Neolithic up through 17th, 18th century. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Really Thanks. For, yeah. Thank you for your interest. I appreciate it. We are at the Thai Gallery here with Eric Koh. We've been representing contemporary Japanese bamboo artists for about um, 15 years or so. Mm -hmm. And they are all working from pieces that evolved from the tea ceremony when that was introduced to Japan. And the artisans started making more refined and elegant baskets. And it was after World War II that the sculptural tradition started. Two artists um, really pioneered that with making non-functional pieces. And then after that, there is kind of a um, like a rebirth or renaissance in the whole art form, and even the vessel pieces are now very sculptural as well. This is by Fujinuma Nobaru, and he is um, a very well-known and respected bamboo artist. He, this is actually a, um, t comes from the tradition of making the atoshi, which is uh, the cylinder you put inside of a basket to arrange flowers in, and he's taken that idea and really refined it. It's a whole piece of bamboo that he cut and then there is between 40 and 60 layers of lacquer that he applied and then sanded back and then applied more layers to really build up this rich, saturated color. And they also get different colors, I can mm -hmm. see that, right? Yes, yeah, different layers and different colors of lacquer. And he either reveal, hides and reveals those and brings those out. I just love it. It has really that organic uh, shapes and then naturally it's from bamboo. Mm -hmm. And needless to say, Japan is known for lacquer since yes. the ancient mm -hmm. time and now they bring back into this contemporary art i think it is just uh, sensational yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a gorgeous piece yes well thank you so much for your right. time you're very welcome hi i'm at the chanel gallery here and now olivier chanel is one of the owner or the owner of the gallery and they're from Paris, France. I can see you major in so all these Roman pieces. Could you tell my viewer about one piece of this? Yeah, yeah. This sculpture is Roman dating from the uh, uh, mid second century AD and it's depicting Dionysus. It's an over life scale marble sculpture of Dionysus which came from a private collection and which hasn't been marked for the past 35 years. And um, the um, quality is very nice and the, it's very well preserved as well. Um, and the state, what we like is that the uh, surface, it's got the original surface from the time and it hasn't been uh, repolished or anything. It's got the um, nice color and nice patina. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank yes, you. thank you. We are Jeans Kahan Gallery here and we are with the Charles Mentors 
who is the spokesperson of the gallery. So could you tell us a little bit about your gallery? Well, the Jane Kahan Gallery was established in 1973. Uh, we originally specialized in prints, but now we do a little bit about of everything. We have tapestries, ceramics, sculpture, painting. But uh, for this show, we're doing a show within a show, about all on Picasso. Okay, well, this seems like a Picasso tapestry, right? So this is quite a rare piece. Uh, in the 1930s, Picasso gave Marie Cattoli a painting pastel painting about this size. Uh, John Richardson speculates that it might have been a, a cartoon for a tapestry, but it wasn't woven in the 1930s. And so in the 1950s, she did have this woven into a tapestry. It was exhibited in New York City, and it was purchased by a philanthropist for the United Nations. Uh, there was an artist proof that was created at the same time probably for Marie Cotoli, or perhaps for Picasso, but that was sold to a South American collector and it has only now emerged into the marketplace mm. since the 1960s. So this is the only one that has ever been available for sale and it is again after 50 years. I see. Oh well, thank you so much if you come to see the shows. Don't forget to come to this gallery and look at the Picasso and I'm sure Charles will be able to tell you anything, whether you're a designer, you're a collector or you're a student, this will be a good place for inspiration. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We are at the Armory at the International Fine Art and Antique Dealer Show. Thank you for joining us. I am Christopher Ong. We will see you next time for more Beautiful Living. Thank you.